Let's jump into the action right here. We're going to be kicking it off with Overpass, Inferno, and then Nuke if we do need a decider. That is where we're going to settle the score right here. It's in one of these teams to play G2 Esports. So, of course, let's get things underway with Overpass. Yeah, dangerous territory for Na'Vi, right? Picking this into Astralis. It's been one that, uh, that even Zonic didn't expect, calling for Dust2 in this series. So Na'Vi, oh. hope they've got some things up their sleeve on this T side. Well, especially when we go to Inferno, right? Because obviously there's a, what, a nine round streak there for Astralis. It's pretty gross. Well, we got to get through overpass first. It's not every day I get to say this, but I thought the same thing as Zonic in that I was imagining this was going to be a Dust2 pick from Na'Vi. So yeah. I'm thinking like either they've got something up their sleeve and we're going to see something a bit different from the normal Na'Vi overpass or yeah. it ends up being something that maybe comes back to haunt them because their overpass as of late has not been the best map for them. It feels like a lot of the time this very, very slow style of play it kind of betrays Na'Vi a lot of the time. Now, in this round, I do like what they've done here. They send Flamey and Simple into B early just to see what the kind of situation is down here. And now they see that no one from Astralis is at least fighting them or, or keeping them back from Monster. And that's because Astralis have lent very heavily into this comp play. And there is Magisk here, but he's all alone. And so Na'Vi are basically already in the site and they haven't even had to fight anyone yet. But now they do and Magisk takes the head off of Flamey Bomb going to go down. Glaive's arriving fast on the flank. A device taps simple out of the round. There's a response from Electronic, but it's him and Perfecto left in a 2v4. Yeah, no kits for Astralis. They're just running right in, and Perfecto punishes oh with God. two. The dink to device won't be enough, and Astralis get that pistol round under wraps. Yeah, I like that con play for Astralis, right? They they just fast flank. They know if Na'Vi go heavy and connected, they've got three players there to fight. And if Na'Vi go to either one of the bomb sites, Astralis can come up through T-Spawn and go on a big wrap round. It's a nice play, risky with no kit, but Astralis are very fast to get back into the action. And Glaive on the backstab as well is lovely. So pistol for Astralis. Astralis, Na'Vi, where do they go? Common to see AKs in the second round. Four spies are prevalent after bomb plants, but right now Na'Vi are just taking an eco, taking a breather. An excellent idea from Astralis there to push. They're just so fast right behind them. Na'Vi gonna try their luck on the other side of the map again. No guns just yet on their side. Oh, run boosted across as well. I like that play. You know, Na'Vi aren't gonna be able to spot Glaive getting across. So if they, if they try and go early monster, they'll think that the right side is clear, but it's not like Flamey has too much of a sight line anyway. And Na'Vi are only on pistols. Astralis still yet to know what they're up against. Two on that top side. We've got Device with the scout alongside Dupree. As Harry mentioned, coming into this game, the two top performers of the tournament right now. And that's only over two BO3s. Astralis beat Mouseports and Ents to get here. Na'Vi played an extra match as they lost to Cole. Simple's up short. With the Deagle, dangerous territory for Dupree and Device is looking far, but he flicks back and hits the one shot to Simple with the Scout. Crisis averted for now. Grenade not finding any damage. No one's home. Dupree still pushed up, waiting to smoke out here. He doesn't even know that he's just surrounded. Get a smoke down to the bathrooms and, uh, well, Dupree is able to back away. Glaive on the other hand, on the other side of the map even. Peeks off of sandbags, get some contact there. Boomich looking onward. Nice grenade landing at his foot. Oh, that's a nice opener from Boomich. And Electronic's going to follow up with another over towards the A site. That might reopen this path back towards A. But with 15 seconds, like, you are leaving this close. You've got to get in, and you've got to put that bomb down right away. There is a player moving in through long. The collateral for Device. It is just damage, and that's the extent of it. The bomb oh. plant going to get denied by Magisk. Wow. And he wipes them all out. He actually does them a bit of a favor there because the time was so low. There was no win in that round for Na'Vi, and he kills them all just before the time runs out. There's two seconds left as he locks the round in. Yeah, great try for Electronic though, right? Not just getting that pick on A, but rerouting long and catching Device after the double tag. Sets Magics up perfectly for that 3k on the A site. And no bomb plant for Na'Vi, but still the buy in the third round. They took a hard eco with only Deagles and Tex. So Simple's got that orb nice and early on. Device still scouting as he lost his life. And we get to see that head-to-head -head hopefully sooner rather than later. Ooh, heavy monster play. Good flash. Flamey gets caught out, blinded, and Zipnix peeking in from lower does take the opener. 
That's got Navi all sorts of frazzled. Flamey, the longest standing member of this lineup. Over 1,200 maps played. It's a weird thought, isn't it? Yep. But Dupree down in the toilets does delete Boomich and lives to tell the tale. So currently two kills untraded. Oh, a bit of nade damage onto Perfecto as well. Minute left on the clock and Na'Vi gearing up for an A play. They flash okay. simple off of short. They get the orb firing off. They now know that he's here. And Na'Vi walking into a three-man stack at A. That's even odds at best. And those are not the kind of fights you want. Gonna struggle to find a way in here. No one's given them this fight that they're desperately hoping for. Electronic's gonna start to pepper the site with Util, oh. but Magis just is like, well, I'll go fight them. How about that? They never even see it coming. And is this just gonna be a save for Electronic and Simple? They don't even look that invested in going for it anymore. This was a gun round for Navi. They have yet to put a single point of damage onto Astralis. Yeah, and it looks like that might not change as expected the save for Navi in the third round. And even Device re-aggressing, trying to kill these players after time. He won't find anything, but he will get an upgrade onto an AK. That's lovely, considering it was a scout before. Can See, drop that over, may even buy up the orb moving forward. But being real, round. man, like when we saw the overpass pick come in, I was really hoping we were going to get like a different looking Na'Vi yeah. right out of the gate. And that's not the case. Like it is still early days. But when you think about Na'Vi on this map and some of the teams that we've seen like push them around on it, it does often feel like a pretty underwhelming map for Na'Vi. Kind of across the board, like even back in New York, I'm thinking back to that opening game in the CIS division where we saw them take on K23 and they almost end up losing that. Ends up going to overtime they have to go on some ludicrous comeback to even get there and you know even outside of that they've had losses to you know the likes of like nip complexity more recently yeah astralis picking apart the default in the last round as well right they know when to re-aggress they know what they can get away with and even the fact that they flash push push flamey at b instant rotate up to a three on the top site navi forced to save not a pretty round and astralis again with the read in this one they've got device deep on long they're gambling with ford on this b bomb site but it's exactly where navi is set from the get-go boomage got spammed through the reverse short wall bang rarely see that shot at by cts but there's not a lot of weaponry in this round other than the saved guns on Na'Vi. And you'll notice that one of them is running right back up through spawn. Electronic and simple taking the bomb to middle. So despite going early B, maybe even ending A. Astralis reading into it though. It's gone awfully quiet. Dupree's come up through the stairwell. Device not taking risks in peeking long. He knows that AWP is still around, but he's trying to find an off angle or timing onto Na'Vi as they get closer and closer. Device on this AK. Just waiting for a little bit of action. He's going to get oh, it. Jump. <laughs> Electronic never stood a chance. Wow. Last bullet through the tree. Just wipes Electronic out. And so now for Navi, it's the 20 second B play. Big smoke. Smoke down at short, and that's gonna that's gonna really serve to complicate things here for Navi. Ten seconds, all Glaive oh. has to do a is stay alive in the short smoke. He is sacrificing teammates to do it, but with seven seconds, him and Match is still here. They can deny the plant, and there it is, Glaive through the smoke. Puts four on the board for Astralis. And this is looking like a kind of classic Navi overpass. And yeah. I think you've got to bring more to the table if you want to beat Astralis on this map. I, I was really hoping that it would mean that like Blade and Boomich had sat there, done a lot of homework, right? really tried to like reinvent the wheel a bit as to how they approach this T side. Yeah, and even though you've got to drop mollies early if you're Astralis, especially towards that B site, we know Na'Vi can rush. They, they, they can show promise there, but great a save of the smoke by Glaive to drop it at the 22nd mark, knowing how Na'Vi like to approach this map. And he's picked up an orb for Device, peeking into middle. Flash dodge. Device is not budging. He is not moving. The simple seed him. Missed shot. Device gets out alive. It's good for now. Na'Vi on full rifles, but no AWP to respond. Connector is there, so Device backing up out of middle with his teammate is well-timed as Na'Vi now clear that one out. And more of an eccentric default. Again, Flamey just holding on to Astralis. Want to continue to pressure that B-bomb site as they did earlier in the half with a flash peak on Monster. Device is waiting for the flick on either side. 
Three moving up through the toilets right now on Na'Vi. Bomb again spawn. Leaves them open to options to either bomb site. But again, often cost them time. And in that round, there's a third player up on A as well. Zip is here. Deep long smoke. Astralis are boosting over it. They've confirmed that there's no one behind this one. Does that make them think it's a B play? Not by the looks of things. There's still three Na'Vi players on this top site as Perfecto and Flamey set a bunch of util into B to sell this fake. Magix jumps. He sees one. Electronic does kill Dupree below the boost. He pushed through the smoke. 30 seconds. That's a big pick on A and Na'Vi looking to commit. Yeah, Flamey's trying to sell this B fake, but oh, Glaive will delete him. And Astralis get it back into a four on four, but every single one of these players for Na'Vi is up at the A site. They've got 20 seconds to get in. They've got 20 seconds to get this bomb down. And Zipnik's trying to deny them that privilege. Does get mopped up by Perfecto. Now it falls to these two players up in the site. And Glaive on that rotate was already low. With just enough time left, that bomb will go down. And Magis is going to have to save in this one. Na'Vi, they'll find their first. All kind of hinged on the back of that opening kill from Electronic, and then the nice follow-ups provided by Perfecto on the push into A. Yeah, and as much as we like to criticize some of the slow T-side rounds for Na'Vi, that's a great example of how it makes Astralis doubt themselves, right? They keep two players on lower for so long, even though Glaive wins his fight to Flamey, just the jumping around outside B for, for one other player keeps Astralis there. I mean, you, you say that, right? But Glaive was still, like, up inside of the A site as the push is coming in, right? Like, I do think they got the read after dealing with Flamey and seeing nothing coming in down towards that B site. I think one of the biggest reasons why it feels easy to criticize the slow plays is just because so often, especially when you're up against Astralis, it'll feel like you're, you're going into a site at 20 seconds left, right? And... And there's just like walls of utility between you and actually getting that bomb down. Like even there, there's smokes in toilets. There's still utility on these players as the executes coming in. And Astralis aren't the sort of team that are going to be throwing that willy nilly about the place, right? Like they're going to be uh, concentrating it when it's most effective. And it's most effective at the 22nd mark when they're trying to walk into you. Oh, they don't have the util this time around, though, and Na'Vi is speeding towards B, at least getting Flamey out the monster. He's yet to frag, and a frag will land at his feet, but Perfecto opens up onto Glaive and Connector. It looks like a faster B approach with early util thrown in, but no one's committed for Na'Vi off the back of that pick. Pushed in mid his device with the orb. Dupree still in con, and Magic spamming. Is that going to bait Na'Vi back in deep where Dupree lurks? Device is given up middle. Going back to the A site, can assist on lower as Na'Vi still hold on. Perfecto smoking the blown up door and Dupree still tucked. Electronic has a Molotov for him, but you may as well just hard clear this with AKs. Does Dupree get away with one? Perfecto going for the peak and Dupree with a spray almost doubling up. 20 health for Electronic, but a kill is a kill and Na'Vi is still up a man. Yeah, device looking on from heaven with his AWP. No one's in connector. Electronic has tucked tail and ran all the way back towards B. This is going to be a B play through and through. Train has passed. And now the Molotov will find its way over to the barrels. I'll be making their monster stand. Oh, Magisk running through the Molotov, now posted up. Oh. And here to help Zipnix out. Bomb will get planted for Na'Vi. Electronic, good for another, is dealt with Magis down towards Graffiti, Ooh. but it's Device in Heaven. Oh, oh, the headshot onto Electronic as well. Flamey, yet to frag in this game, now given a 1v2. Has to step up. He's one down in the water, they're both there, and the peek into Device, it's three in the round for him, and Astralis move on to a fifth. They get that retake in. Yeah, good plant there for Navi, at least. Some Solus, some Silver Linings. They're going to be going into this next round with weapons. Pre almost getting away with two right here. Yeah, Astralis knew that was B from the get-go, right? Device posted up in mid, as he has been doing with the orb, and he waited so long. Navi were holding it from spawn, hoping someone aggressed in middle. But after about 40 seconds, and after Dupree gets that kill and connector, Device just comes back down. They leave A completely open. They triple set up B, Navi execute, and that's a really nice hole for Astralis. Device with a 3k on the retake, and 5-1 backup. Bomb plant gives Simple the orb. Device has just been doing this round after round. This time flashed off at least gives Simple the angle. 
We've even got a double orb for Astralis in this gun round. Do pre-joining. Perfecto Molly and Connector. He's been burned before, and now he tries to burn them back out. But Astralis have no one here. Even the boost up on B-Short as well gives further info to Astralis. Na'Vi sat outside middle early. Molly might push device back, but he's not orping on the divider. That's where this should land. He's just hanging out, ready for a peek. And he'll get them soon. Simple grabs the bomb, and up con comes Perfecto. Not ready to quite break the plane just yet. Everybody weary. They know there's an AWP around here somewhere. Oh, Glaive's going to flash zip through Monster. He's going to go aggressive with that. Dupree, missed shot up close. It does get that b lurk kill, but there's another player there. Simple with a bomb has been spotted as this engagement goes down on long. This was not what Na'Vi wanted. They may have the kill on A, but bomb has been seen on B. Astralis are re-aggressing to cut off Simple on his rotating connector. It could be huge. He's oh. caught with another missed shot. Zip gets closer, chasing down <laughs> Simple. Not an easy position with the AWP, but Simple responds and back to B go Na'Vi with two kills given up. Nice move for Astralis, but it does get punished. Oh, Magic, is he going to go through? Yeah, that's his death warrant sign. Perfecto picks wow. it up. And Na'Vi, that was that was like a good response from Astralis and then an even better response from Na'Vi, right? Like both teams just having to play around the calls that the other is making. When Zenix was going aggressive in through Monster, I thought that was the end of him, man. I thought that was going to open up that B fake that Na'Vi were looking for. He wins that first fight and then sees the bomb and that gets him paranoid about the connector. So he's always looking elsewhere, right? As he's trying to fight Simple. Then as they try to crunch Simple to deny that bomb rotate, that's where Na'Vi darted and mop up both of those kills. Yeah, first eco for Astralis, broken boys on this CT side. Got a couple of SMGs, but again, flamey has been very good at getting out Monster just with contact plays, even though he's still yet to kill, getting a lot of position. Molly onto barrels, he knows Zip's there, forces him out, but Flamey doesn't capitalize. Zip gets away for free. And Na'Vi just keep Astralis scared on this B bomb site. Device is even pushed up on long. Now, no one has the info that Electronic is out in mid, but if he does give it away to Dupree, Device could activate. Flamey's come back round to short, and Na'Vi's still waiting outside of B with the bomb and the orb. Device on a big flank. And Electronic, is he really going to check this? He's going long instead. Back turn to Device. No one knows. The boost up on short. It's being held. Ooh. This is weird because while Device has a huge flank on this B play, Electronic is up on A, selling Util. Does that force rotate for Astralis? They've seen only one player outside of B. Yeah, he wants to keep pressing the issue too. Device all the way at the top of ladder. He's going to try to investigate this B side. I mean, there's a heavy presence here for Astralis outside of him. Simple lines up a flash. Now Boomich tries to take point. Ooh. SMG down. Boomich falls. Device has all the information. So does Simple. Out and about. Now out of the round. 20 seconds. The bomb's down. Three on five. Oh, Device with a double. And at this point, Na'Vi, they've got to go into, into the stacked B site. They know that everyone is here for Astralis, but they've got no other options. Whoa. Perfecto trying to get the bomb down, and they will deny it. Glaive with the wrap through the back. UMP to put a sixth on the board for the Danes. Defuse going to come through once they've grabbed these guns, and they snatch it away with that force bite, that wrap from Device getting so much done. And timing those peaks perfectly with, I think it was Dupree down in Monster, yeah. right? Swinging together, just constantly keeping the pressure on, making it feel so claustrophobic for Na'Vi. Yeah, Stratos' monster flashes have been suffocating, whether they're peeking the tunnel or going right through it, through the smoke with a flash. They have been all over this B-Monster area, and that's been really annoying for Na'Vi so far. Electronic, he, he's not to know it, but he gets so much real estate up on A. He's selling fakes. Astralis are just ignoring it. He could have walked through A and flanked that B bomb site. With Astralis full stacked on lower and device skipping past him in middle. Really, really good round for Astralis. Eco as well. They had players with no armor. They were saving in that one. So now they are going to be reaping the rewards. Big guns coming in. Big guns, even bigger rounds. And for Navi, you look at this veto and you say, oh my God, we're going to play Astralis on Inferno. Sweet Jesus, help us here. <laughs>
Gonna need to pick up overpass, I can assure you that. Strauss looking red hot on Inferno again. A nine map winning streak for him. Perfecto, top fragger of Na'Vi right now at nine kills. Electronic sits behind on eight. Oh, Dupree, he does not wait. He pushes right through. Electronic with the hard check though, and he's ready for the push. Punishment onto Dupree. Estrada starting to get confident, and it's not allowed by Na'Vi on these slow rounds. Spam through Con opens up a hole in the door. And for Astralis, they've had that, that gumption to push long. They've gotten away with it up till that round. Nectar's falling to Na'Vi. Still, they're wary of a push of long. And be right to do so. Device not far off of the AWP. <laughs> Dangerous game for Glaive. Does hit simple through the wall, but he was doing he... that all the time in free for all DM, yeah. and I can tell you now that's it was it was ridiculous. I think he, I think that's what he was getting ready for was moments like that. Astralis with what they think is a bit of a read here. They stack heavy in towards that A site, leaving Zipnix alone at down in B. It's going up as well. Oh dear. The old gamble. Sometimes you win, sometimes you don't. Zip's gonna stick around though, he doesn't believe in it. Na'Vi have been mollying CT, Zip has to commit. He has to play graffiti, and so he's essentially trapped as the flashes come through. So does Electronic, very fast, chasing him down. He only needs to look one way, and he can't be traded by Glaive. Na'Vi with a plant and a five on three, this might force the save. And we've seen these early reads for Astralis often be the right call to make. That round there, it's not. Na'Vi with the last second misdirection on the back of having Kong control. Something that might prove to be very, very important here for this Na'Vi T side. And they show exactly why in that round there and then. And, you know, maybe we see that that aggression from Astralis stemmed a little bit. One of the things that is so frustrating about playing against Na'Vi, at least from the looks of it, is that if you are going on like these aggro pushes early on, when, when they work out for you, man, it must feel great because you know that you're not really going to get much in the way of a challenge back from Na'Vi. But when they don't and you end up going a man down because of how slow and how group Na'Vi play, it's very, very hard to ever recuperate that lost man. And so a lot of it does become just kind of hedging your bets, trying to make the read. We've seen so many rounds end like that for Astralis, where they do just have to, without any information, go, well, there's 25 seconds left, and I guess it's probably B. And oftentimes, Glaive has made the right call, but that round there, he doesn't. And so now attack timeout called in for the Danes as they try and mull this one over. Yeah, we want to know what your call was. What was your prediction? All you people with your Twitter fingers. Use hashtag IEM. Tell us what you think of the match. Tell us who you had. Or Photoshops are always accepted as long as they're appropriate. Weapons back out here for Astralis. Some of the weapons they saved in the prior round. Does help to have device on an AWP. He doesn't have a mid spawn though. So if he goes for this, that would be very dangerous. It would appear as though he's going to get pretty close. But he does stop just short of the bathroom. Now, ooh, they're going to push off Catwalk. They're going to push off these sandbags. Glaive getting aggressive. Flamey, big kill. He's been going through monster time after time. Finally, it pays off. Finally gets a pick and simple finds Majisk aggressing as well. Good damage done, but no kills. And Astralis, they might just be dealt an early B play. Now they could commit with only two CTs here. Good nade as well from Flamey. Glaive continues to aggress, but Perfecto is tucked and could catch him off. Hip spamming a smoke for huge output. Glaive does win his fight, but Simple's in with a trade. And now Na'Vi, they just have to commit. It's too good to be true. It's too easy as they run right through. Zip is so low. Device is here with the AWP. He has Simple on lock. Yeah, and he's going to be the last one in the round too for Astralis. Four alive for Na'Vi. Device might just want to think about getting the hell on out of here. And this is a great example of Navi just switching the pace up on Astralis. 
Yeah, well, especially when you play early, slow rounds in this T side, right? Astralis might stop using utility. They might stop mollying monster out of spawn. And so Na'Vi know they can get Flamey through. They've been able to do it no matter what, right? He finally gets that barrels pick. And with that, Na'Vi can, can just commit. They can just elevate the pace. And it's a, it's a rare sight from this T side, but it's nice to see it from them. Vice will get away with his AWP. No one hunting here for Na'Vi. Well, I mean, if, if you are a team like Na'Vi, right, and you do approach your T side like this, you know, it's nice to have that ace in the hole that is going back to something hyper-aggressive or something way quicker than you're usually putting on for Astralis. Yeah, I mean, plus, you know, I think it's a bit of, like, not looking a gift horse in the mouth, right? Like, they, they get the two picks over towards B. They then force that third fight to come through over at short, and it's like, well, they've kind of rolled out the red carpet for us here, right? And uh, at that point in time, like, knowing the best case there for Astralis is that it was going to be a 2v4 inside of B, you take that all day long if you're Na'Vi. I think, you know, it would have been overcomplicating it. There would have been the error there. They run boost device over. My God, does he go far. So fast. So agile. Like a lemur. And now... He's going to be the man to try and swing Astralis to victory. However, missing that timing onto Boomich, who's still at the barrel, still holding for this peak. Also, bear in mind Magisk in this round. Him and, him and Electronic might have a little engagement here to come through. Electronic has been burned by these aggressive plays over towards A in the past, so we'll bear that one in mind. Oh, nice. Now they know where the AWP is. And that might make Na'Vi reconsider how much love they give to this beast site. Magisk beast. not able to dig Electronic out of the round, so that man advantage is found for Na'Vi. Boost this op out to look over the water. Oh. <laughs> so close in the no-scope. No party, though. Oh, Glaive jumps back and simple picks him out. What a guy. Device on the AWP running A, he knows where this one's going. But, oh, Dupree gets shot as well. Two jumping players for Astralis, gone to simple. Device, he's got to do it all and he can't even find a shot. Perfecto with another opener. And it's a USP on B, Na'Vi with a fifth round. Yeah, easily. Device would have been that saving grace with that AWP had he had held them. Look at simple, man. He just juggles one of the AK, uh, one of the AWPs out of the map. He's shooting it away at everything. No one's getting this. Yeah, clutch this guy. Did this? He's going to give it his oh best attempt, God. but Perfecto with the turnaround. And that AWP was never to be seen again. Out into the streets it goes. Five on the board for Na'Vi. Quite the recovery here when you think about how kind of dismal this was looking in the early stages. There's that attempt at the, uh, the no-scope. He sees him. He knows he's got to get his feet flat again. Simple's gone like clay pigeon shooting in this round, man. <laughs> oh, there it is. It's oh. actually pretty funny. You should try it sometime. I don't know, man. I didn't think I could hit a stationary target at point blank, let alone a disc flying through the sky. Speaking of flying, though, this round might be a bit of a flying start for Na'Vi. They set up down towards B early on, but it looks like that smoke and the flash combo has kind of deterred them from this early play. Instead, Boomich going to flash Flamey into short side. So often been the man getting out monster. And now he's tasked with a bit of a change of scenery. Nothing different for Electronics. Still holding on to A. Device on the solo long play with Dupree in the sight. Still triple B for Astralis. And Na'Vi have been starting off almost all of their rounds outside of B using that connector that we haven't really seen in Astralis since uh, the pistol and that one round Dupree uses the SMG there. Simple, looking for a B pick, mollied off, still with a gap to play around, zip hit by the nade and backs up. It's gonna flash Boomich out, will he commit? Boomich looking for the pick, he clears right side, he knows there's no one there. Device still has this AWP in middle, nothing behind it. No one behind it, but Perfecto right in front and a missed shot for Device. Oh, his backup is cut off, he thinks it's clear. He runs out with the pistol and Electronic takes the position. Good team play for Na'Vi to catch Device out and the bomb is still going B. Astralis is scared, they're rotating Zip back up to play 2-2. And again, they've been good on these like passive retake setups inside of B, but with no kit and almost no util to stop Na'Vi committing into this lower site. Electronic can't sell the fake, Zip gets the kill and he rotates back down as Na'Vi come into B at 15 seconds. 
Cutting it real close. Blade might have to deny a plant, but Majisk and him are gonna tag team it up. They make it look easy. They make it look convincing. Now Perfecto with five seconds, nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. Pre removing his hope. And Astralis pick up a seventh. It's one of those games of familiarity where if Astralis kill a certain player in a certain position, they know it's not a commitment. Yeah. You kill Electronic along, you know it's a build, B play. You kill Flamey outside of B on his own, you know it's an A play. These are the things that Astralis are using to rotate so quick to always have more than enough players in the right place. Also, Astralis are kind of being like reasonably merciful here. Like they could be a bit more punishing with the economy if they really wanted to. They've had three opportunities now to kill players after times, but instead just rushing the frags, taking them down while they've got the chance. And you know, you can always make the case that, you know, if you got the kill right there, just take it while you got it. I don't know, man. Astralis are the kind of team that love to punish the economy. The Vice holding for this short peak, spam damage onto Perfecto as well. And that's Intrigue Device. Ooh. Flamey's holding close and gonna try and go around the corner, but this is not the kind of man you wanna play a game of chicken with. They're just waiting, it's a stalemate. And Flamey just concedes without ever even peeking the angle. Simple making oh, noise, no. don't walk across. Simple, it's not safe. Tag goes in, but he does live to tell the tale. Take those. Flamey's like, yeah, be shots sure clear, it's cool, simple, caught <laughs> off. Oh, could be a big nade. Boomich, though, backs out. Still got three low players on Na'Vi's T side. They're gonna rotate back up A from this B site. Dupree and Glaive here and ready and waiting. Device no longer with the AWP on A, he's lower. And so Na'Vi, good odds on this top site if they commit. They've got to go soon, though, 40 seconds. As much as they like leaving it to the wire. Is there going to be any kind of B fake? Perfecto going back down con could throw Util into B. Miss shot oh. from Simple this time around, but it's very close. And you don't want to mess with him, Astralis. Here they hear, uh, they hear Na'Vi getting closer. Boom, it's spotted and dealt with it long lining up nades. And Dupree flashed out. There's smokes all over the place. Na'Vi need to cross to get this plan. 19 seconds. Time to choose. Oh. And they do. Electronic Perfecto doing everything they have to. A jarring entry into the say bomb site. Bomb planted for Navi. Smoke fades. And now they'll begin their approach. And if a kill doesn't present itself soon, which it will, this might have had to have been the save, but now they're intrigued to at least give this a look in. One flash is all they've got. Kids as well on two. Simple, close at the flower beds, and that's one hell of a flick onto Magic. Zipnix, though, not the kind of man you want to give a clutch to. Sticking the bomb, Perfecto oh. needs to peek, and he will just in time to put six on the board for Na'Vi. Oh. Comes down to the 1v1 Ooh. from the 3v1. I'm just going to say it. These are some sweaty rounds we're seeing right here. Yeah, look at this entry. This is the kill that makes the difference. Perfecto just spams a smoke. There was still a player on the A site. And again, think about the amount of times Astralis have denied the bomb plant on both bomb sites in the last 10 seconds. That could have been it again. But this time around, saved by Perfecto, saved by the bell. And he tags down Zipnix to close the round. He's having a great game right now. And that's what you need for Na'Vi. Six on this T side. Pretty decent half. And it could get better. But Magisk, that's a massive kill. There's an AK. There's the bomb. They need to get it out of there pronto. Boom, it's going in for the fight and punished, but traded still. Perfecto, can he escape? Simple still here with the AWP as well. Astralis are up a man. And with a player outside of B, this would be the perfect round for Flamey to do what he's often done and get through Monster. But with no one lining up Util, he hangs on. Device does not, though. Luckily, Perfecto's here to punish. But what timing does Device hit? Simple's found Glaive, and the flank could come through at any moment. A lot of this round could hinge on Device in this long aggression, and Simple does seem aware that that could be a factor. I'll make noise running back. Device, great timing Ooh, on wow. the peak, but Simple's Damn. even quicker. Turns around and deals with him. And now into this B site, things get a bit awkward. Flamey's gotten by, but Zipnix has gotten out through short. Nose. This is wild, and he is aware. Flamey stabbed in the back. And now down to the 2v2. It's Simple and Perfecto versus Zipnix and Dupree on the other side. AK for Zipnix and Dupree all the way up at that A bomb site. Clear it out. This is one of the dangers of playing Na'Vi. Like, you never know till they've started to move in where it's heading. And Astralis are believing it's an A play, but it's not. They've moved both players up towards this side of the map. Zipnix needs to land one of these. It's damage to Simple, not the killing Ooh. blow. And Perfecto comes through, delivering over the 2v1 for Na'Vi. And he even throws Simple the bomb. Plant that, mate. Go on, I got you. Dupree 
Up in heaven with the AK, not wasting any time, trying to get out, trying to give himself a bit of a bird's eye view. And there's Simple with the swing. Seven to seven for Na'Vi, and they tie this game up. Yeah, this is a really good recovery from Na'Vi in this T side, right? Astralis were up 5-1 to begin this map, 4-0. Uh, Na'Vi, they've just been getting back in, even with close eco rounds, uncomfortable eco rounds. Pumich going back in the middle, and Simple, what a shot here. The double turn back to Device with the Deagle. And even though Flamey, like, he gets our monster, Zip hears him from short, so he knew that Flamey was somewhere behind enemy lines, and Astralis hoped that Na'Vi left that B-bomb site after they killed the Lurker, but no, not today. Na'Vi commit lower and they take the round. Smoke on the molly, here come Na'Vi fast. Perfecto, he's been so clutch in this game. So many opening kills into bomb sites. Astralis are pushing mid though. And the one round Na'Vi don't have anyone watching this contingency. It's the last of the half and Astralis have so much room. As long as they can stall the B play with their utility, then this flank could be huge. Electronic is making noise on the back line. Flamey is in though. Astralis trapped in the water. Dupree kills Electronic and now Na'Vi know there's players in front, there's players behind. They've got to do something. This is wild though. Look at them. They're all trapped like little pack animals trying to roam together. Oh. Boomich will dismantle the first tag from Device, but it's not the killing blow. And Zipnix backed into a corner, traded by Flamey. It falls to Device, a 1v3, a damn near impossible 1v3. And Na'Vi went out the half at eight to seven. Okay. Boy, oh boy, what a game this is shaping up to be. Overpass is going to continue in just a moment, so don't go anywhere. I'm so sorry that I wasn't really there for me. Cause nobody else is showing any empathy.
Well, if you haven't ate dinner just yet, don't worry. We've got a delectable treat for you right here in front of you. Astralis taking on Navi. One of these teams trying to get into the semis to play G2. We just saw in the matchup before this. Right now, things are pretty even kilter. Navi on eight, Astralis on seven. Astralis getting a stronger start, but Navi having the answer. Some real slow, drawn out rounds there on their T side. Let's flip the script here. Let's see what they've got to offer on their CT side. Yeah, last time Astralis took on Na'Vi on this map, they 11 4 their T-side first half, so I bet they can't wait to get back into this T-side. Show us what they got. Fast rounds, we're not used to them. Na'Vi aren't ready, but they do have four players here. Device is straight into the site for the flash, and Glaive uh, blinds him. Flamey gets that opener. Two in the water. Astralis chasing them down, and Zip doubles up with Perfecto Dinked as well. He's gone after one. Actually does find two in the round, but it's still onto Boomich. A one on two on the flank. Zip on for the ace, and the bomb is still loose. And are they going to give Zipnix the ace to begin this second half? Boomich trying to piece together a plan of action. Thinks they're coming back up. He thinks he's, he's worried, right? That like yeah. they've gone through CT up into the ace site. That is not the case, Boomich. Well, even the, like even in this situation, look at them. They're just they're waiting it out. They don't have any idea. Yeah, they don't want to go for the bomb and get caught if he's watching it from heaven or you know caught trying to plant from re-aggression on short. That's where he was in, was initially. But now they have no idea. Now he could be anywhere. He could be monster for all they know. So he still technically has the bomb from his view if he peeks now. But Astralis are going for it. They've had enough of waiting. Glaive moving back to the site. Zip still in the pit. Right place, right time. Looking the right way. Boomage. Oh, he catches Glaive looking at Shaw. That's the bomb again tumbling. 30 seconds. Boomage. Smart play to give it up. He knows he can play the bomb, but he doesn't need to force his fight into the site. Not give Zipnix the ace and the dinks come through. Seven health onto Zip. Boomage, one shot, and he's got it. Na'Vi take the pistol round. Astralis slowing down, miss all their timings where they could have planted. And the second they go for it, he's right there. That is just the worst feeling as well, right? Like, you try and play that right. You try and keep it slow to not get caught off guard. And... Well, in doing that, they get caught off guard. So that kind of <laughs> sucks, right? Comes full circle. And they haven't seen him in so long. Like, they they know he can be anywhere. And to be fair, like, for Boomish, to give him credit even further upon winning that 1v2 out, is he was in a similar spot. Like, Astralis also could have been anywhere. And yet he just flat out balls to the walls, in through that A site, down into CT, catches them, and locks in the pistol for Na'Vi. Now, how upset do you reckon Zipex is? I reckon pretty upset. He gets four in the round and ends up eluding them. Yeah, Astralis, I bet during the first half there, it's one of those games you're like, I can't wait to get onto T side. We're getting sweated. They're playing the entire round. We just want to go fast. And that's the precedent they set in the pistol. Quick into B. This one, a bit of a slow burner. Deagles and Glocks. Well, one Deagle on Zip, who can afford it after finding four, and he moves up into short. Simple's close at long, could re-aggress at any point, and the bomb is here on its own. Dangerous for Glaive. Let's see if that gets punished, because even if Astralis get this pick on A, if they lose Glaive here and now, that's probably the round. But patience is a must. And they're full of it. Zip coming back to long. Simple heard the footsteps. He knows players are here. There's an early rotate up onto A in the form of Boomich, and Simple's just waiting for the time to strike. There's so many fights about to come through. We're trying to switch between them. We're trying to get it all, but all across the map is just a bit of chaos and simple. Ooh, he's running away. And now he moves in for the kill. Oh, you thought that was the only long player? No, 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 no. Simple. Oh, they're going moving in. in. They don't know about him. He could do so much here and now. Not if Electronic steals it all. He's tagged on the first peak, locked out of the round. So it is going to fall to Simple to mop it up. And he will with a double through the back. And Astralis are wondering, how the hell did he get there so <laughs> fast? Ted on the board for Na'Vi. And that full eco at least graces Astralis with a bye. Moving into this third round of the second half. For a second, it looked like they could have eluded Na'Vi because Simple spots them leave toilet and go towards, uh, you know, the mid side, which would insinuate they're going connector. But they're actually just walking up short. So Boomich rotates down off Simple's info. Luckily enough, two men on the site is enough to deal with it. And Na'Vi holding the lead. How much longer will that be the case? Can Astralis get back in? Set up early towards B. Zip is flashing them into short water. Are they keeping up pressure on Monster with smokes and flashes of their own? 
Bomb is left outside of B, and we've got Device lurking in middle and Glaive in connector. So standard start for Astralis, nothing too special. Feeling out the round. They know that Na'Vi are on a bonus as well. Matches. Oh dear, he smokes the Molly, but it doesn't well. extinguish, and he gets burned to 12. That is ridiculous. We know those smokes on Mollies can be inconsistent. Doesn't even put it out. Yeah, and if they were to try their luck on this monster tunnel, it might not go very well for them. Vice clearing up the bathroom so that they have something else just in case this goes awry. Oh dear. At any point, Navi could get impatient and peak monster and realize that B is clear to a degree. Stralis, sooner rather than later, they're going to get towards this A site. Electronic with a jump spot doesn't see Device, but that time he may have. Device is very close. Info doesn't look confirmed for Na'Vi. There's the monster smoke. If anything, that denies them info. Astralis is setting up to A with 30 seconds, and they're about to explode onto the site. Three CTs here, though. Na'Vi are ready. Here we go. Ooh, Device and Glade leading the charge, but it's these two hidden at truck that just haven't given anything over yet. Astralis trying to get the bomb down. There's the first peak, but the second will come through and piece by piece, it's falling wow. apart for Astralis. It's all left onto Device in a 1v3. The wrap back round toward Divider. Looking to try and hold this in the post plant. Na'Vi slow on the approach. They've got a bit of utility that goes out towards Long. Just to ward off any threats that may lurk here. Device, it's got to be something huge and this is feeling impossible. They're even trying to wrap him up close with Simple. And he will get one, but it's traded swiftly by Perfecto. 11 on the board for Na'Vi. That retake comes through before the bomb's even really gone down, right? That's like a 1v3 right away for Astralis. You get the replay of that. That's a feels bad man for Magisk. Yeah. Burn out to 12 health as well. And I love that stall on the truck, as you said, Harry, right? Simple. And, and Boomish is hiding uh, as the bomb plant comes in. Boomish tries to deny. The cover is good for Astralis. They get that kill. But then Simple runs in with a double. And Perfecto to close. He's had a great game. Eight multi kills in this one. He's 1-0 in opening duels. He is the closer right now, shutting out so many of these rounds. We were saying, you know, in like the uh, the pregame, how Perfecto feels like he's been on a bit of a tear recently. And it's been like a great replacement if either Simple or Electronic is a little bit quiet. Well, right now you've got that holy trinity of players stepping up. You've got Perfecto, Electronic and Simple all looking good. Electronic with the con hole doubling up and it could get even worse. Luckily enough, Dupree is there to trade. Still a two for one, gonna favor Na'Vi massively. The M4 picked up at least. And Flamey deciding just to concede this fight at short for now. And that makes a lot of sense, right? You're in this four on three. You know you're only up against pistols and this one scavenged weapon on the other side. There's no need to make that, that problem worse for yourself. And so they'll just play the, the numbers game right now on the Na'Vi side. Oh, this could be the bomb drop. Vector, does he see the feet there? Zip is walking out through Monster. Vector should have this kill against the MAC-10. And now the double short play for Astralis, a little delayed, if anything. Perfecto flashback in for a fight, tags device. And good flashback for Astralis, but no one to push off of it. Do they even want to go for this? I mean, there's no real reason to save on an eco device. He's going to flash Dupree back through Monster. It's a good one, but Simple's here to save the day. Perfecto pushed to the corner. Gets another on the final bullet. Simple shuts out the round. Na'Vi onto 12, building and building into the CT side. Four in a row, and Astralis yet to grace the board. Yeah, this isn't going so splendidly here for Astralis. Meanwhile, Perfecto, 21 and 9. Mm. And Harry, those two names that you talked about coming into this matchup, the two guys who are the top performers of this tournament yeah. right now are, are at the bottom of the board for Astralis. But it's not even like there's much, uh, much of a disparity here, right? Like, everyone's fairly close, whereas on the Na'Vi side, you've got these big individuals that are stepping up when it really starts oh, to matter. They boost Boomich up, look at him, sat on the shelf, ready to go. Shovel by his side, because he's looking to bury bodies down here in the connector. And there's the first for Boomich. Not Ooh. the follow-up. Dupree wow. will get one, but there's the trade coming through. And that Na'Vi, man, they're, they're like trade setups have been phenomenal. Like every single kill, the moment you get something, if you're Astralis, there's someone waiting in the oh, wings. Device, no. that was his chance to find a two on three. And instead, all he's done is annoy Simple. It didn't even really do any damage to him.
I kept yeah, simple I the way to get out of there. But overall, Device and Zip are in a really bad spot. Split up, bomb down, almost smack dab in the center of them. Troubling times for Astralis, right? Navi still playing 2-2 two -two as well, and so it's an equal fight in either bomb site. Device going to grab the bomb, go back to join Zip here on B. Zip had an incredible opening round to start this half, and since then, there's really been nothing for Astralis. They're going to contact Monster. Device has two flashes. Here they come. Oh, delay, but there it is. And Perfecto should be blind. He turns back. Zip running in. Player on the pillar. Does he clear it? Yes, flamey has gone. Perfecto in the pit. Zip is ready. He's going to jump above for this kill, but Simple's in the heavens and fires down. Death with the AWP. Perfecto again closing around. And Na'Vi 13 to 7. And yeah, what a great con setup as well. Astralis never had connector on that CT side. They never played for it. They often just had device in mid spotting and, and calling the fact that Na'Vi were early B. How do you think about how important that con control became in the later stages of that first half for Na'Vi? Like so often they would make it look like they were heading somewhere at the 22nd mark, dart through con and then explode into one of the other sides. One of the other, like there's three of them, but yeah. that doesn't happen in this game. Pistols out for Astralis, in through mid, trying to charge down Simple, but he's already out of there. Bye. No real reason to hang out, that's for damn sure. They continue to press the gas pedal. Ooh, close smokes dropped by Na'Vi. They've basically built a wall upon this A site. We often just see a front toilet smoke, but that's going to cordon Astralis back. That's going to deny them this presence. And now they've got to spread out. Now they've got to default a bit. They forced a third rotate towards A. Electronic doesn't trust the smoke, and he has good reason not to. Reaggressing and confirming the fact that this is not an A play right now. That can even send Boomich back down if he wants. And yes, he will. Stralis outside of B with smokes and flashes, pistols alongside them, and just looking for an execute. Now, this round, Navia appealed back pretty passive, so Stralis might get a bomb plant, but Navia playing for the retake. Here come Astralis with a necessary round. They need damage, they need a plant, they need something. Oh, Perfecto continuing to put up numbers. Uh, just refusing to go down is anyone from Na'Vi. Perfecto doubling up. And there's Flamey to round it out. Man, this was such a good start for Astralis. It looked like Na'Vi were about to get blown out of the water, right? Astralis had that 5-1 lead. You were starting to get worried. And since that point in time, it's gone 13 to two in favor of Na'Vi. And still no T-rounds. Yeah, Na'Vi with a cleanup, no fear against the pistols. They just re-aggress back into the B-bomb site. And Astralis with their second tack coming through. Big buy round here for them, and they don't even have the AWP for it. 14-7. Have we seen a T-side AWP yet in this game? I don't think the money's been there. Astralis, that was their second bomb plant in the half. And their first was on a buy, and so that went into the follow-up eco. So yeah, no device AWP on T-side, which is a bit of a shame. And he was avoided mostly in the first half as well. So certainly gives uh, some explanation for the scoreline right now, at least him personally. 14-7, Na'Vi looking to close before Astralis even start. Glaive going to take a big grenade down to 57 HP. Oh. More coming through. Majisk wants to join him. Now down to 63 HP. Facto looking off in the barrels, gets the damage down, drops the smoke, try to elude this Molotov. And the Charles are turning the pressure up, they have to. They don't have a choice, they need to get in here and get something done in this round. Zipex strikes Perfecto from the tally, and that's gonna give a bomb plant to Astralis, finally. It looks like they're saving, already out of this one. They have all the money in the world to fight back, but trusting in the plan, Na'Vi playing the long game, they had a massive flank for Simple. He was pushed up in mid, but with no B uh, kills coming through from the two players in the site and late rotates from A, that's going to be an Astralis round. I'm surprised with Simple so deep on that flank that Na'Vi only have two players lower as well. That seems like a bit of a, a miscom potentially as you know, Na'Vi cleared out all of long. Ooh, simple with the tag. They could do the job, but he holds on to it. Saves it for a rainy day. And out goes Device anyway. So Astralis, huge round of win. Five alive at the end of things. Money can be kept in the coffers. But Na'Vi, 
They've still got plenty more opportunities to get this over the line. And that's the thing. I think if you're Astralis there, you kind of want Na'Vi to attempt that retake. Like, you yeah. want them to throw everything at you just so you can take that much more away. As a result of that save, right, the money is going to be pretty sound for Na'Vi looking to the future. And so you don't have that that ever so coveted like uh, position where you can reset your opponent right away, keep them on the back foot in terms of the money, and just kind of rinse repeat that for a, for a long while to get back into this. No, it's going to be a real grind for Astralis. Oh, Nade stack coming through, but no one's there. And if anything, that's a lot of info for Na'Vi to go off of. Yeah, they're 4B right now. They've put Simple there as well with the Orb, and Electronic is alone in middle. Uh, they smoke, Astralis smoked the Molly on the mid stairs to start the round. So Na'Vi don't know if Astralis are out mid, but right now they're about to realize the uh, exact play. Fast into B, off of the flash, Dupree with a double, and a third, out the heavens, Flamey oh. finding one, but Zip's gonna trade, and Electronic is a long way away. This is certainly a round you give a go, though. One on two for Electronic. And Astralis this time, I hope they just go for the plant, right? They, they, they got burned in that pistol by, by delaying this too long and giving time for the rotates. And they don't want to let it happen again. Bomb plant coming in a little oh. late. Oh, There's no. the spot. Electronic God. gets it down to the 1v1. The trade needed to come through there and Ooh. then. And there it is from Zipnix. Putting nine on the board for Astralis, saving the AWP as well. So we get to see that now in the hands of Device. I was so paranoid yeah. that once again, <laughs> that decision to delay the bomb plant was going to punish Astralis, and it so nearly did. Yeah, they're just so scared of that short wrap in both those uh, both those rounds you're talking about, Harry. And, well, massive entries for Dupree in this one. Three right into that bomb site. Zip with a closer. Electronics not ready for the repeat. He won't go for it again, he says, but of course it will. Keeping Astralis in this map, there... Or, sorry, Na'Vi's picking this series. Astralis is, is going to be Inferno up next. A map they on, are on a hell of a streak on. So Na'Vi can't afford to let go of the reins before they close this. And just to understand what's going or what could go on here between these two teams, between Na'Vi and Astralis, I mean, was I think it was the Pro League, the Pro League Finals. It was like a 13-2 first half for Astralis on CT side of, of train. And then Na'Vi come back and they do 13-2 of their own. That's I mean, that game goes 22 to 19. And Astralis' way goes into overtimes. So, like, it's definitely possible. Yeah. That Weirder was the things have happened. Map. Yeah, it was. Well, Astralis are going to play in the playground for the time being. Yeah, for any Astralis fans who might be, you know, feeling a little worried right about now, they are finally getting to this point in the game where you can bring Na'Vi's money out of, out of contention and just kind of springboard yourself ahead so that every round you get up against rifles becomes a bit of a two for one. Uh, and, and that's a great point to be at. But it does become a case of like, not only is it too little too late, but also you've got to win this round first, right? Like it is within, it is within reach and distance. Being in that great money position. You're not there yet. Simple with this AWP in the toilets, looking to hold on. Astralis have a lot of bodies over here in mid, but that bomb is outside of B. You've got to be careful as you traverse this short side because Simple's holding on. Staring his way through the gap at Divider. And if anyone tries to sneak this, if anyone tries to go slow, that's a free kill for Simple. That bomb has actually left B on the back of Zipnix, rejoining the rest of the guys over here in mid. And Na'Vi have got a bit of a read on this one. They rotate Boomich up early. Simple gets away with a kill here. That is disaster for Astralis. They will need a trade, and it's not going to come through. With no one occupying the toilets, they've got to peek it from short, and that's more kills for Simple. Electronic and Boomich oh. in with a kill apiece, and there it is, 15 on the board for Na'Vi. Yikes. That's a beautiful hole for Na'Vi, right? The, the uh, rotate for Boomich just allows Electronic to help out Simple in the site. He pushes up on toilet even after Simple takes two. He could have gone in for a third, but he tucks, he waits back, and it's those trades setups for Na'Vi on the CT side that again keep catching Astralis. They did it in Con, they do it again here, and Boomich even kills the Orpa up on A. Nine for Astralis, and Harry, yeah, you say you got to grab it to break the money. Well, they don't. And so the money is still there for Na'Vi. Six rounds for Astralis in a row required to open OT. Na'Vi just need one of them. 
They're not quite up to double digits yet, but A, it's Astralis. You can't really write them off. And B, you're just at that, that breaking point almost. You're almost teetering skills in that 10th round. If you could string together a few, that would definitely help the war effort. Oh. Oh, he sees the bomb. That's Glaive peeking out wide. Electronic misses the timings, but then sees everything he needs. Magix is blind, and Electronic with the right click flash finds him. Simples drop that package, and it's falling apart at the seams. Dupree traded, and this map might be coming to a close if Electronic has his way. It's all on zip in the one-on-four for the map for all the glory, and Electronic just won't allow it. No. 